Genki Call here with Faction Info and Teams for Sunken Fleet. So Sunken Fleet is connected to Bright Forest right here. So your kingdom level will have an, an effect on your delving here. Once you get to level 12, you'll start getting these Faction Horde stat bonuses that are super, super helpful. Uh, as for the faction itself, let's go over the troops and the faction weapon. So let's do the faction weapon first because I tend to forget these things and I don't want to forget. So Last Harbor is a weapon that you can get only when we are doing a faction assault at Sunken Fleet. You can get it through the shop for the event or you can get it in the Soul Forge, but of course gems are easier to come by than diamonds so i recommend getting it in the shop if you can but does damage to the first enemy boosted by doom skulls and if the enemy is an elemental deal double damage then knock them to the last position there are so many powerful elementals in this game um this i think could be utilized more than it is uh but the upgrades are attack attack life attack magic armor Gain four armor, submerge myself, stun the first enemy, and create a doom sto storm. So, your boost with those doom skulls. And Mirage Queen is from this place. So, I highly, highly recommend throwing some chaos shards at this place because the Mirage Queen is fantastic. Fantastic. So, we are at Sunken Fleet here. Let me pull that up and show you the. Ah, uh, sorry. Let's get out of weapons. Oops. Oops, all kingdoms. <laughs> have to do it again. Sorry. La, 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 la. There it is. All right, the Mirage Queen. Now, the Mirage Queen's spell, curse all enemies. Anything that's cursed loses their immunity, such as the ability to, to not be devoured. That goes away when they get cursed. Um, and you convert all green gems to Doom Skull. So if you're running with something like the Wild Queen that's creating a ton of green and then you convert them to doom skulls super super fun but that's not why i am recommending that you grab this troop with your chaos shards the reason i am recommending it is twofold first of all all elemental all allies start with 50 percent mana at the moment this is the only troop in the game that will give elementals a 50 percent mana start so this is absolutely fantastic there are so many good elementals in this game and of course the mirage queen itself is an elemental the second reason is because while you're trying to get the mirage queen you are definitely going to end up with the drowned sailor who is one of those empowered mana converters convert yellow gems to blue and it has a 20 percent chance to death mark the last two enemies which is boosted by gems converted so an extra one percent per according to this boost ratio per yellow gems that you convert empowered mana converters are really powerful super useful and you're also going to get the water elemental who does, does damage to all enemies and it stuns them so if you don't have a troop like obsidious that stuns all of the enemies or if you're not running with elementalists this is a way to make it so that they lose all of these traits such as when you're fighting queen beatrix she will no longer be able to cleanse the team on match fours if she's stunned. So um, I like using this troop in Delves. It's a great um, non-legendary way to do damage to all enemies in a Delve environment. It is much stronger. Um, the attack that it does is much stronger, of course, because you have the boost from the Horde. And then the last one is, I always forget about this guy, the Crab Man does damage to the first and last enemies and then bleeds them. It's great in Arena, and besides that, it's kind of I, forgettable. Submerge myself when I take damage and reduce damage from skulls by 30%. For pure faction, what you'll want to do is run with the Mirage Queen in front because there is skull damage reduction here. And then the Drowned Sailor for that mana convert to feed two water elementals. Um, and then hope that you can get lucky. I have not done Pure Faction 500 here. I am trying to do Pure Faction 500 here, but the trick is basically 
yes, you can cast with the Mirage Queen if you have a m match four plus. But of course, it is risky running with Doom Skulls um, as your primary source of damage. So basically, you just want to feed the Water Elemental and cast as much as possible and hope you don't get killed with Skulls. So let me take you over to my forum and grab my tributes. Tributes! Tributes. Let's pop over to my forum. I'll show you some of the teams that you can use. I have a ton here. So this is Sunken Fleet. Pure Faction, as I just mentioned, is right here. The fastest team that you can use, it has to be with potions, but the fastest to do level 20 to 500 is Shield of Gaia, Merilith, and two Teslas. Super strong um, and very effective. Of course, true damage is going to be your best friend, but I've got a big list here of mana generating troops, both explode and destroy, and those that create... Um, persistent storms and that kind of thing. This information is not going to fit into the description below. I will get as much as I can down there, but I'm going to have to give you a link to this post on my forum if you want to see more in depth because it's not all going to fit. So I've got some teams here for no legendaries. I created one for Saga, the new troop that came in recently. I've got all kinds of troop uh, troops here. Of course, the fastest is going to be true damage, but we've got a ton of different teams that you can use. Um, we've got stuff with mythics, stuff without mythics, lots of quick delve teams here. Um, and then for higher up, of course, if you don't have Tesla and you don't have Queen Beatrix, you've always got the Shield of Riskaya with Rowan, and I'm running her here with two mana generators. There's Triple Ferocity with Rage Reaver, which is fantastic. There's an all-blue Shibanu Vespera team here, which is excellent and very safe. Here's the Shield of Riskaya team again. Bunches of teams here with High King Iron Gut, with High King Iron Gut and Zulgoth, and then one here from a viewer from the last time I was in this area. So anyway, that is what I have for you. I'll have a link to the forum as well as as many of these team codes as I can fit into the description. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye!